Hey there. Today we're going to learn how to divide by multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. Uh, and really, when I'm dividing by multiples of um, 10, 100, and 1,000, I'm really going to be looking for basic facts to answer. Similarly to when I multiplied by multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000, I focused on the basic facts and then I left the zeros um, for the end of the problem after I had found my basic fact answer. So we're gonna start with this problem right here, 12 divided by four, and that is a basic fact. I know that 12, go, or 12 divided by four is three because I know that four times three would give me 12. Well, if I had a multiply 12 by 10, I would have 120. And if I divided 120 by four, Again, what I'm going to do is just find that same basic fact of 12 and 4, which I see here. I have 12 divided by 4. And I know that 12 divided by 4 is still 3, so I would include that in my answer. However, now since I have a 0 on the end of my dividend, I need to include a 0 in my quotient. So 12 divided by 4 is 3, but 120 divided by 4 is 30. I continued that pattern on to 1,200 divided by 4. Again, I see the basic fact of 12 and 4. So 12 divided by 4 is still 3. I'm going to include that in my answer. But now I have one, two zeros in my dividend that I also need to include two zeros in my quotient. So 1,200 divided by 4 would equal 300. Let's continue the pattern one step further, and now I have 12,000 divided by 4. Same process, I'm going to find my basic fact, which is 12 and 4. 12 divides, divided by 4 is still 3, and now I have 1, 2, 3 zeros in my dividend, so I'm going to include 1, 2, 3 zeros in my quotient. Um, here I have a pattern of 12 and 4 and 3, but this fact or this uh, method still works even if I don't have a pattern listed. Uh, for instance, if I had uh, 50 or 540 divided by 9, again, all I'm going to try and do is pick out the basic fact, which in this case would be 54 divided by 9. Well, I know that 54 divided by 9 is 6. So I'm going to include six in my answer, but I need to also include a zero in my answer. So I would say that 540 divided by nine is 60. Do one more example here. This time we'll do 2,400 divided by eight. So again, um, rather than working this all the way out, uh, since it's a multiple of 1,000 and I see um, some zeros here, all I need to do is locate my basic fact, which is 24 divided by 8. And I know that 24 divided by 8 equals 3, but I need to include the zeros in my answer. So 2,400 divided by 8 would equal 300. 